On a day that Americans remember for the tragedy that occurred 14 years ago, members of the Alpena community gathered together outside of City Hall today to shift that focus from fear to peace. The Alpena Peace Coalition led this morning's proclamation to kick off 30 Days of Peace, an annual tradition here in town, but today's ceremony outside City Hall was a special one. This year we're kicking off the 30 Days of Peace with the dedication of the peace pole that we're giving to the city, and so it's the first time here, but it is the ninth year for the 30 Days of Peace here in Alpena. 30 Days of Peace is a month dedicated to talking about peacemaking activities, and it's centered around the United Nations International Day of Peace, September 21st. Mayor Matt Walagora was in attendance for the proclamation. I like to use my position in these events to uh, to help raise awareness for for community organizations, and this is a big community organization of. Uh of several different uh, peoples coming together for one cause. It's just a reflection on uh, what we can do as leaders and as a community to, to promote peace, the peaceful alternative to any issue. There are over 100,000 different peace polls around the world in 190 countries, and this new peace poll here in Alpena reads, May peace prevail on earth in four different languages, English, Chippewa, Gaelic, and French, to represent the roots of the people who settled in the area. It's a good symbol of what we need to be thinking about in our individual congregations and in our individual families. And on this September day, when we remember 14 years earlier, the tragedy that made us a more united country, 30 Days of Peace seems to be exactly what we're in need of. It's very significant that we have it on the 11th to remind us again how significant this day has been to each of us here in the United States and throughout the world, really. And I'm very happy to be a part of it and support any efforts to bring peace in this community as well as in the world. Lindsay DeLucia, WBKB News.